Hello everyone! Welcome back to Rent Own Sell, where we cover everything you need to know about renting and making your living experience hassle-free. Today, we have a topic that could potentially save you some serious cash when you're moving in or out of a rental property, paraded rent. So grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the world of paraded rent. Parated rent is a way for landlords to charge you fairly based on the number of days you stay in the rental. It's commonly used when you move in or out during the middle of the month. Parated rent is calculated by dividing the full month's rent by the number of days in the month and then multiplying that figure by the number of days the tenant occupies the property. Essentially, you're only paying for the days you're actually living in the rental. But why bother with prorated rent? Prorated rent ensures fairness for both landlords and tenants. It's commonly applied when tenants move in or out mid-month or when there are interruptions in occupancy due to repairs or renovations. Now, let's talk about the benefits of prorated rent. First off, it's a money saver. Prorated rent can save you a significant amount, especially in short-term or mid-term rentals. Plus, it helps you avoid high rental fees associated with daily or weekly rates. Prorated rent is a proportional amount of your monthly rent, so no unexpected charges for your partial month's stay. Is prorated rent a legal requirement? Well, not necessarily. It's often more like asking for a favor. Being friendly and respectful when discussing prorated rent with your landlord can go a long way. Demand it and you might find yourself in a tricky situation. Always approach it with a positive tone, and you'll likely have a smoother experience. Now, let's talk about managing prorated rent. Here are some tips to make the process smoother. 1. Be timely. Inform your landlord about your move-in or move-out date as soon as possible. This gives them time to calculate your prorated rent, and don't forget to pay it on time to avoid any late fees. 2. Review your lease agreement. It should outline how prorated rent is calculated. If you have questions, ask your landlord for clarification before signing. 3. Verify the calculations. Cross-reference your lease agreement and run the numbers yourself. If anything seems unclear, don't hesitate to ask your landlord for an explanation. 4. Document everything. Your prorated rent bill, communications with your landlord, and any other relevant documents. Having a paper trail can be crucial in case of disputes. 5. Understand local and state laws regarding prorated rent. Each area might have different regulations, so knowing your rights is essential. Check with your local housing authority or do an online search for information specific to your location. A prorated refund occurs when a tenant leaves mid-lease, and the landlord has to re-rent the unit. It's calculated based on the remaining rent due and can include various charges, so it's crucial to understand the breakdown of these costs. Remember, documentation is key when it comes to prorated rent and refunds. Keep records of all communications and agreements to protect yourself in case of any disputes.